Good morning, Dr. Pail. How are you? Good morning, sir. I'm good, you say. And thank you, you for from, asking. You are from Gurugram? Yes, sir. Okay. So, Dr. Pail, you did your uh, MBBS, then your interns from where? Sir, I did my MBBS from Saraswati Institute of Medical Sciences, Hapur, UP. In and uh, I completed my... Yes, sir. And I completed my internship from Civil Hospital, Gurugram. Okay. We want your complete introduction first of all, then we'll have the questioning with you. Okay. Okay, sir. So, sir, I am Dr. Payal. I'm from Gurugram, Haryana. And I did my MBBS from Saraswati Institute of Medical Sciences okay. in 2019. Right. After that, uh, I completed my uh, internship from Civil Hospital, Gurugram in 2020. And after the internship, I joined the Columbia Asia in the Gurugram. And I worked there almost for two years. And during that period, I just came to know that the army is the best place where because it ties my both things, skills and passions as well. And uh, here I can serve my uh, country as well with the fine persons. So that's why I want to join army. Okay. What is the work of a medical officer? Sir, so medical officer work in the casualty. Whenever the patient is coming in the emergency, they first encounter with the uh, uh, MOs, MBBS MOs. And we first we have to look the, uh, like uh, after the when the patient came, we have to look for the patient's general condition and we have to uh, locally examine the patient. And the first uh, treatment we have to give. And if some severe conditions are there, then we have to shift the patient uh, according to respective departments uh, or whether in ICU or uh, HDU and uh, if, we, if we need some uh, so, some senior uh, consultation then we go according to that and uh, if you talk about that the PHC and CHC level uh, in the PHCs the MOs work as a supervisor they mentor their team they guide them and they uh, uh, guide them and they train them and uh, they uh, work as in uh, uh, like leader in the PSCs. They work each and every, uh, they uh, 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 focus on each and every point to maintain the health of their uh, local peoples. What and uh, in the, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Enough. Tell about your college yes. life. Okay, sir. So I joined my MBBS in 2014. Okay. And uh, when I joined there, uh, first of all, I come across the different, different personalities and I learn a lot from their personalities as well. And uh, number of the professors, uh, they taught, taught about uh, the life and how we can go ahead in our medical life. Okay. And uh, that was the best experience of my life. And I, uh, along my studies, I enjoy a lot with my friends and as well as my colleagues and some professors with. Okay. We'll be going with medical portion also. But prior to that, I want to know that why do you prefer AMC as your career? What is the reason? Okay, sir. So I'm preparing uh, AMC as I already told you because it ties my both passion and skills. And uh, moreover, uh, like they, in my family, like my great grandfather and grandfather was, uh, they were also in uh, army. So uh, inspired by their stories, and I also want to do some uh, good in, for my country. So after discussion with my seniors, professors, and my colleagues and my family, I just uh, come to this conclusion that the army is the best place where I can give okay. my. Uh, uh, okay. How many commands are there in army? Mm, sir, I need to read upon this there topic. <laughs> okay, you give us the reason. Why should we select you? Because we have a lot many doctors, those who are awaiting for the same post. So, how you are different from others? Okay, sir. Sir, like uh, I, uh, I, I personally don't know the others candidates how they are doing, but I knew myself that I'm dedicated and determined. And okay. if you give me a chance, first of all, thank you for giving me giving me this opportunity. And this is big deal for me that I'm sitting in front of you. So thank you for that. And second, if you allow me to join the army, where I can show my uh, skills and potential. And, uh, and 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 I will be uh, like uh, uh, very true for my jobs. Thank you. Okay. Okay. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Okay, sir. My strength is I'm dedicated and punctual pe uh, person, and I like the uh, learning new things with time. And uh, my weakness is nothing. I just want to spend some time lonely so that I can think about where I'm going. 
So I don't think this is a weakness at all. No, no, no. This is not it's weakness. That's why I said I, also... I, I, I don't have any weakness. Just I need some time. Sometimes I just need a upbreak. That's it. Okay. So if you think that you don't have any weakness, that's a major weakness. You might be having weakness, okay. but not be knowing. That yes. might be the reason. Okay. So you can state any of the weakness, but not major. You can't say, sir, I like get uh, angry early. Like I'm a short temper person. You can't say this. No, 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 sir. That, uh, I am having, uh, don't have patience, impatience personality. Yes. You can't say this. Also. So instead no, of no, that, sir. I just... speak in circumlocute manner, you can say whenever I get some interesting tasks, sir, I mm -hmm. like to do it first, giving more preference to my professional career rather than my person. And moreover, sir, oh. even you can state, sir, uh, I give more weightage to my professional works. I like to complete okay. every work in perfect manner. And because of this, my personal work hampers also. Sometimes got scalding from my parents for skipping my lunch and got scalding also. Yes, you can train in such a small oh. manner as if that you don't have any weakness, major weakness. Or you can say I have work calling oh. personality, sir. Like this weakness, you can state. Yes, sir. You stated yes, very oh, uh, good, Thank wonderful. You. Okay, now you tell me something about uh, mm -hmm. the medical portion I want to know from you. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you mean by the word ectopic pregnancy? A very important question most of the time I have seen in CAPF and AMC students are being asked a lot many times regarding this question. Yes, sir. This is a mock session. We need to know from you. Please. Okay. Okay, sir. So, sir, ectopic pregnancy is basically when the uh, implantation is occur other than the intrauterine cavity. The most common site for the ectopic pregnancy is the fallopian tube. And in fallopian tube, the ampulla is the most common site for the ectopic pregnancies. And it can happen on other sites like uh, ovaries, abdomen, and uh, heterotrophic pregnancy. In heterotrophic pregnancy, one pregnancy in the intrauterine cavity and one in the extrauterine cavity. And uh, the female will present with amenorrhea for four, uh, six to eight weeks. And uh, she might be having pain and PV bleeding if uh, ectopic, uh, ruptured ectopic pregnancy is there. If women hemodynamically stable came to us, we have to first rule out, uh, first of all, we have to confirm whether she is pregnant or not by the urine pregnancy test. After confirming the uh, pregnancy, we have to send some uh, like serum beta HCG level that indicate uh, like if the serum beta HCG less than um, 2000, we have to uh, further uh, evaluate the uh, uh, pregnancy on the basis of the uh, serum beta HCG level. If this beta serum HCG level more than 2000, then we have to uh, like uh, to go towards the ectopic pregnancy di diagnosis. According to the serum beta HCG, we have to perform the transvaginal sonography. Uh, on this uh, sonography, we can see whether the pregnancy is the intrauterine or extrauterine. If we see the intragestational sac is there with cardiac activity, that indicate the normal uterine pregnancy. Uh, uh, sorry, if extrauterine gestational sac is there with cardiac activity, this is the diagnostic of ectopic pregnancy. And on the uh, TBS, we can also see uh, the empty uterus, uh, no gestational sac and fire of ring. That's uh, the indications of the uh, ectopic pregnancy. And on the basis of finding of TVS and the beta HCG, we can conclude this is the ectopic pregnancy. If beta serum beta HCG more than 2000, we have to treat the patient accordingly. First of all, we have to look for the patient is not going in the shock. If patient is going to shock, then we have to terminate the pregnancy by the laparotomy or laparoscopic irrespective of uh, whether family is completed or not because the first priority is to save the mother. If patient is hemodynamically stable, then we can go for the medical termination pregnancy in the ectopics and uh, Medical treatment we give uh, when the women is uh, pregnant, women is hemodynamically stable and she won't uh, uh, continue their fertility and uh, the uh, gestational sac is between 3 to 4 centimeters there and extra, extra gestational sac with no cardiac activity. In this condition, we have to terminate the pregnancy with medical management. In the medical management, we give the methotrexate 1 mg per kg and we ask the patient to come on uh, day 4th and day 7th. And in these days, we send the serum beta HCG. If the serum and we compare the uh, fourth day and seven days uh, beta HCG, if this decreasing uh, more than 15%, then we can consider that our medical management is going there, uh, going well. If uh, the serum beta HCG from day 
to 27 does not uh, decrease more than 15 percent we can repeat the methotrexate uh, injection up to uh, three doses three doses if if uh, still we are not getting the positive results that means the serum beta hcg is not decreasing more than 15 percent then we have to go for the surgical management that is laparoscopic is best for the medical uh, sorry surgical management right and um, yes sir so uh, and in the if mother having ruptured, uh, ruptured ectopic pregnancy then we have to go for the uh, self inject me and laparotomy thank you so much Okay, some of the questions which are having in front of you today, and these yes, questions sir. are being asked most of the time in AMC, CAPS. Yes, Many of my students, mm -hmm. those who have gone in Call India, there also. Yes, sir. And recently mm -hmm. we have prepared for MPPSC. There also such questions was asked. So today mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you only important questions. My next question okay, is sir. file chest. Continue. Okay. Okay, sir. So, plyle chest occur when there is a fracture in the ribs. Two or more ribs fractures are there at two or more places. Okay. And the flare chest occur in the traumatic chest injuries. And the flare chest, uh, we can make the diagnosis on the basis of the uh, 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 the pattern of the breathing pattern. In the flare chest, the paradoxical respiratory movement is there. And that will lead in the uh, uh, respiratory distress. And uh, in the flare chest, uh, when the uh, fracture of the ribs happened, it lead to the rupture in the pleura cavity. And the, after the pleura, uh, when the pleura cavity is ruptured, some air and fluids get inside the pleura cavity that compress the lungs, uh, affected side lungs. And that's why the shortness of the breathness. These, uh, uh, and whenever this uh, pleural chest and the fluid in the intrapleural cavity increasing, it also compresses the vena cava and the heart also. The, in this condition, patient uh, leads into the obstructive shock. That is the main reason in uh, main reason of death in the pleural chest. And we have to, uh, like, uh, the main point here is in the pleural chest, we should never do the uh, extra fixation and uh, any type of bending. It is absolutely contraindicated because it will further increase the intrapleural pressure and patient uh, might have the obstructive uh, cardiac output. And uh, to for the treatment of the pleural chest, we have to go for the, uh, the definitive treatment is uh, thoracostomy and uh, definitive repair of the affected part. And we have to treat the uh, uh, underlying cause as well. Tell me the doses of TB drugs. Uh, sir, uh, okay. So, uh, uh, in the morning, I just read about the doses of the TB drugs because uh, in my theory classes, I was just uh, Most of the reading students, about it. Uh, feel as if that onco and TB are quite complicated uh, questions. Yeah, yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. So, uh, in the TV doses, uh, the uh, isoniazid tablets uh, comes under the 75 mg and uh, rifampicin uh, 250, parazinamide uh, 500 and, uh, and uh, uh, the ethambutol is uh, 250 mg. And we have to categorize the patient according to age and uh, like uh, from 26 uh, to uh, 49 age category, we have to give the two tablets of HREZES sorry, HRZE, and in the conti continuous phase and intensive phase, we have to give two tablets of uh, between 25 to 49 years. And uh, above uh, 50 to uh, 59, we give the three tablets. And uh, in uh, 50 to 60, we give the four tablets. And more than 70 of age, we, we give the five tablets of HRZE for intensive phase and uh, HRE in continuous phase. Sir, I just read only these things and yeah. I will read the details. What is AED? Okay, sir, uh, AED is uh, automated uh, external uh, defibrillation that yeah. is used in the cardiac arrest. Okay, and sir, when whenever uh, first of all we have to look whether is patient in the cardio cardiac arrest or not. Uh, the cardiac arrest we can make the diagnosis on the basis uh, we have to look uh, the patient is conscious or not, pressure patient is breathing or not, and we have to check for the carotid pulse. If uh, three things are not there, then we have to consider that patient in the cardiac arrest. We have to patient we have to put the patient on the oxygen therapy and we have to perform the CPR cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Along this uh, CPR, we have to check the patient whether it's shockable. 
मैग्नीशियम टू एज ए एज ए मेंटेन डोज इफ पेशेंट आर नॉट शोकेबल इन दिस कंडीशन वी शुड गिव द एट्रोपाइन टू द पेशेंट एंड सम एपिनेफ्रीन एंड यस सर सो वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू अकॉर्डिंग टू द सी pr condition is uh, like sir uh, start uh, heart beating start after the cpr then we have go for the post resuscitation management you know although i am listening complete but you know very well that interviewers would be preferring only like they just you speak single word they'll come to know that what actually okay, uh, but i want you to speak here this is a mock and until we speak how can we yeah, give yeah. questions yes sir actually uh, basically practice is necessary but real yes, interview sir. they would prefer you they will listen and they will stop you so don't get feel as if that they are stopping me they are not allowing me to speak no they have their time limitations they want more questions limited time and by your eye contact the way you started speaking they will come to know mm -hmm. like whenever okay, they ask you tb drugs and you started suddenly they will come to know you know and they will yes, go yes, to sir. the next question so okay, we should sir. get motivated instead of demotivated that they are doing these things now one of the question which was recently asked in capf one of my student girl hmm. mosquitoes different mosquitoes having different diseases they are creating developing in the yes, human sir. so name just the names of the okay. mosquito and the disease okay so sir uh, like mosquitoes uh, disease are uh, number of uh, disease that is caused by the mosquitoes the first mosquito is the anopheles that uh, causes the malaria and the filariasis and then uh, aedes aegypti that causes the yellow fever dengue chikungunya and zika and uh, one mosquito is also there uh, so culex mosquito that uh, caused uh, arthra viral arthritis and uh, Jap japanese encephalitis and uh, some uh, so so many an uh, mosquito is also there that is uh, that cause the filariasis and chicken bee okay recently i have uh, traveled on one cruise genting cruise and they filled a form from me and yes, they told me that sir fill this form and in that there was a yellow fever and they like yes, getting a shot that uh, you were not having this particular at all or like this they we need to fill one form okay you tell us immunization schedule most important question okay sir uh, the national immunization schedule to prevent the uh, uh, diseases yes. uh, in the child group so in immunization period we have to give the hepatitis and uh, bcg and opv at the time of birth and uh, uh, after that at 6 month 10 uh, sorry 6 weeks 10 weeks and 14 weeks we give the uh, pentavalent tpt and uh, op uh, ipv tablet no, sorry I ipv uh, vaccine is there at the uh, age of 10 uh, 6 weeks 14 weeks and 9 months we give the uh, 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 PC, ipv and pcv in the age group of 6 uh, months to 12 uh, months we give the uh, measles mumps rubella japanese encephalitis and uh, 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 vaccine for the uh, uh, vitamin a and in in age group of uh, 16 to 24 months we give the uh, dpt first booster ipv and uh, 
IPV and uh, uh, dose, doses of the uh, uh, vitamin uh, A uh, from uh, uh, 16 months to 24 months. And after that, we give the uh, vitamin A after uh, every six months. Sir, I'm not able to recall right now. So I and just one, uh, one more thing I want to convey you that as I asked you about TB drugs. So most of yes, the students sir. were asked uh, chloroquine drugs, chloroquine doses. So some okay, questions sir. are very common and these questions always you must like practice until you practice some things uh, yes, definitely sir. goes out of our brain. Types yes, of fever, yes, how many types of fever are there? Sir, uh, 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 like uh, many types of fever are there, like continuous fever, remnant fever, and uh, 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 continuous fever, remnant fever, and... Uh, remnant, you tell about this fever. Okay, sir. Sir, continuous fever is the fever where the fever is, does not touching the baseline, continuously increasing. In the remnant fever, in the remnant fever, the fever is does not touching the baseline and does not cross the fluctuation more than one Fahrenheit. And these present in uh, some conditions like uh, brucellosis and endocarditis infection. And speak something on trials. Trials. Okay, uh, trials. Uh, yes, yes. And this question is being asked in such a manner, like uh, one yes, of sir. the person is uh, having injury and your person yes, having sir. injury, so what you will do? Like this, they ask question. But yes. directly, yes, sometimes sir. they ask about trials. No problem. Please continue. Okay. Okay, sir. So, trials is the system by which uh, we identify the severity of injury and the chances of this survival. We categorize the injuries uh, in the different colors, like uh, uh, black color is the least priority because in this uh, color band, we put the dead bodies and we, we don't need to prioritize that patients. And the most priority patients are the red bandage. In this uh, category, we put the uh, patients that need the immediately intervention and we have to perform the surgeries within six hours okay. in the green band we uh, put the uh, patients uh, those are having the injuries but not the major injuries not life-threatening injuries they with the conservative management and proper management we can survive the patient and uh, one is the uh, yellow category in this patients uh, the uh, sorry in the green patient in the green bandage okay. patients with the minor injuries some lacerations yes. uh, injuries then they can be re uh, recovered with the conservative management in the yellow band we put the patients where they need the uh, attention but uh, not life threatening injuries are there in this patient we can perform the surgeries within 24 hours and we can increase their survival chances by the attention okay and these categories are mainly used in the war areas Actually, where we can quickly categorize the patients in these. you are right you are right yes, you know very well yes, the thing is that Although I'm not a medical student, still my student gets selected in AMC and CFF. Yes, you people yes, know sir, more I have than seen me. Your uh, you people know more than me, I know. The thing is yes, that sir. I have seen most of the books are having different uh, criteria for trials. Some books are yes, stating sir. like red for emergency, orange very urgent, yellow urgent, green safe, mm -hmm. blue even, very safe. And yes. then comes the black. Okay, and in war, it just yes, gets sir. opposite. Green, yellow, red, black. Like this is manner you are being. Okay. okay. So it depends on the okay. books also. Different books are having different theories. I okay. want you to okay, uh, speak something on uh, stab injury. Can you tell something? Okay, sir. So stab injuries are the sharp injuries that can be caused by the uh, knife and some sharp weapons. Yes, yes, and yes. that injuries can cause the uh, peritoneal hemorrhages. The, the, uh, that is the life-threatening condition. And the stab injuries uh, mainly uh, occur in the most uh, visceral parts. And in this condition, uh, we have to uh, manage the patient in the ICU basis. And first, we have to uh, stable the patient hemodynamically. And uh, then we have to treat the underlying cause along the uh, treatment of the stab injury. Yes, yes. And how we'll make uh, one liter of ORS? ORS. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. In uh, to making of the one liter of ORS, we we have to take one liter of water, and we can uh, we, we mix the one sachet of ORS uh, in one liter of water. We have to we have to mix it well, and we can use it up to only uh, two hours. Beyond that, we cannot use this ORS solution. Sometimes they ask uh, one glass of ORS. That time you have to notify the tablespoons. How many tablespoons are you have to add? 
ओके इन सर इन वन ग्लास ऑफ वाटर वी हैव टू जस्ट ऐड ऑलमोस्ट हाफ टेबल स्पून ऑफ ओ आर एस कंटेंट नो कंटेंट लाइक हाउ मच शुगर हाउ मच सॉल्ट लाइक दिस दे आस्क वन ग्लास ओके ओके सर डू रीड इट आल्सो ओके बर्न मैनेजमेंट कैन यू स्पीक ऑन दिस बर्न मैनेजमेंट बर्न टाइप्स एंड करेक्ट मैनेजमेंट ओके ओके सो इन बर्न मैनेजमेंट लाइक वी हैव टू स्टार्ट द आईवी फ्लूइड्स टू द पेशेंट्स बिकॉज़ द द पेशेंट इज द डिहाइड्रेटेड इन बर्न केसेस सो वी हैव टू पुट द आईवी लाइंस एंड वी हैव टू स्टार्ट द आईवी फ्लूइड्स we uh, start the iv fluids according to the parkland formula in this formula we give the 4 ml per kg per body surface area but in the modified uh, parkland uh, formula we give uh, in adults we give the 2 ml per kg per body surface area and in children we give 3 ml per kg per body surface area and in the electrical shock we have to give the uh, irrespective uh, of uh, in adults uh, we have to give the 4 ml per kg body surface area and in this condition we have to divide the total fluid in uh, first half and second half dose the first half dose in given with 8 hours and the second half uh, fluids we have to give in, in 16 hours and if and this regimen this formula is applied where we know the about the timing of the burn and within 8 hours if we don't know about the uh, timing of the burn and uh, 8 hour lapse then we can we, we can use the master formula for the iv fluid in this master formula we calculate the uh, iv fluids by total and uh, total uh, body surface area into body uh, weight in kg divided by 8 according to this formula we can give the iv fluids after the iv fluids we have to go for the nutrition and we uh, in the burn injuries we uh, prefer the enteral uh, route uh, for the uh, uh, nutrition and in this uh, we, we have to all, we have to also calculate the nutrition uh, like calories in uh, like in, in the uh, sir courier formula is there for uh, the nutritional therapy according to this formula we give 25 kilo calories per kg plus 40 kilo calories per kg of total body surface area this uh, uh, amount of nutrition we have to give in 24 hours and some microbial agents we have to give if we are going for the surgery then we have to give the antimicrobials iv if we are giving the conservative management then we gain the tropical uh, antimicrobials like 3% silver sulfadiazin we can apply on the surface and we have to uh, pay, uh, uh, treat the patient on the abc basis also and uh, the uh, uh, other injuries also in the burning management okay. Okay. As I started my interview today, although I have other questions, yes, you, but the thing okay, is, sir. as I started with the introduction, so the yes, very sir. important thing which I want you to change the introduction little bit. Okay. Okay. As okay. everybody tells about themselves, so even okay. हम लोग अपना कोर्ट डिजाइन डिजाइन जो करते हैं, first day is only mm-hmm. for introduction, because most okay, of the sir. questions they would ask you based on your introduction. So आप you must have some trappings yes, inside it. आपके पास कुछ ट्रैपिंग okay, होनी चाहिए इंट्रोडक्शन आपका रॉन्ग नहीं कह सकता मैं इट्स नॉट रॉन्ग इट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट वॉट एवर यू आर यू स्टेटेड बट दिस इज अन इंट्रोडक्शन आई विल से मेक इट डिप्लोमेटिक टू गेट ओके एंड अदर देन दैट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे वी कीप फॉर अवर क्लासेज इज बॉडी लैंग्वेज विच रियली इम्पैक्ट लाइक हाउ यू एंटर हाउ यू सेट एंड वॉट यूज इन इंट्रोडक्शन एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स एंड द थर्ड डे विच वी आर कीपिंग एज इफ इज योर पर्सनल क्वेश्चन योर लाइफ related questions whatever is going on in your life yes. you did why you did yes, why sir. you become doctor why you choose army why should we select you yes, such questions we go with then comes yes, your sir. medical portion and we make you strong but although you people are strong enough just we have to practice you nothing else then yes, 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 and sir. all these and uh, somewhat uh, lifelong related common questions which are being asked so everybody yes. having these personal questions also which remains at last Yes. like gapping or okay. whatever they are like some are going from uh, doing their mbbs outside and all this so depends yes sir some their personal questions yes, again like uh, prior to that common questions then personal questions day we keep separate day for that in that we only do yes, personal questions very important yes, question again for you especially you are going in army yes. so they yes, would sir. definitely ask you snake bite management most common question this is for army okay, people sir. this is very common problem you will face definitely yes, yes, sir. please answer yes yes sir 
okay so sir whenever we come across this snake bite first of all we have to just reassure the patient and we have to stabilize the uh, limb of the patient so that we can prevent the further spread of venous so sorry uh, venom in the patient's blood after the stabilization we are after the uh, counsel to the patient we have to we can do for the local examination because two common types of snakes are there these uh, the some is the neurotoxic and some is the hematotoxic okay. the neurotoxic like the cobra and the uh, traits and in the hematotoxic uh, russell viper and the so scaled snakes are there in the hematotoxic by the local examination if uh, some fang marks are there and bleeding from that fang mark and when we put the iv lines the bleeding is coming from that iv lines and local uh, uh, spreading swelling is there that uh, indicate towards the hematotoxic snake bite and uh, in the neurotoxic snake bite we will uh, find the tosses and uh, some paralysis is there and in the neurotoxic snake bite patient will lead into the respiratory paralysis for that we have to put the patient on the uh, ventilator support although after differentiating between the whether the bite is the neurotoxic or uh, hematotoxic we will not able to differentiate the uh, treatment because only we have only one anti uh, snake venom uh, vial is there and the polyvalent uh, anti venom uh, drug is there that we uh, give to the patient uh, uh, first we have to rule out if the patient was uh, toxic or not toxic if the patient is uh, toxic then we have to start the polyvalent anti snake uh, venom and uh, we have to give in a proper dose like we, we, we will take the 5 ml of polyvalent anti snake venom we will dilute in 500 to 1000 ml normal saline and we will start the uh, uh, iv infusion and before that we can uh, give uh, sub antiphalytic medications because there are the high chances of the anaphylactic reaction and uh, we we maybe give before the anti venom or maybe during if patient uh, produce some anaphylactic reaction we can and uh, stop the uh, uh, anti venom infusion and we have to give the avil injection hydrocortisone injection so whenever the anaphylactic reaction is stopped we can restart the uh, iv infusion and anti venom iv infusion and And along these things, we have to uh, like uh, see the patient if hemodynamically stable or not, and we have to give the ABC approach to the patient. And some is, uh, like in the neurotoxic, if patient having the respiratory distress for that, we have to put the patient on the ventilator support. And some uh, systemic failure is also there. We have to treat according to that. Okay. Why you opted doctor as your career? What is the reason? Okay, so I opted uh, doctor as a my career because uh, like uh, my 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 personal reason was that uh, like uh, people aware about each and everything, but uh, the health is also uh, must be our priority thing yes. because I have noticed the number of the patient are well educated they they are doing great in their life, but uh, they are not uh, putting attention towards their health. Okay. So my intention to become a doctor so uh, to spread the awareness and to give the treatment. Uh, to who need the treatment and the patient sometimes uh, what happens the people don't know that they are suffering from some diseases if i will do work well and i try my best to work, work well in my profession and uh, if, by this uh, profession i can help to the needed people like who really need basically in their health issues and uh, i i can uh, like increase the vision of the health and i can give the treatment to the needed people and i guess i again i can serve my country and by this thing i can uh, like uh, give some uh, new guidelines and uh, basically uh, spread the awareness about the health why don't you study further why don't you study like further? A... pg okay so so uh, see uh, according to my mbbs skills uh, still i can do my best and my motive is to spread the awareness and give the treatment to the patients that i can also do my own mbbs level and uh, along this uh, along this my uh, army journey i can also try for my pg now if i get selected in the army then definitely i will i will do my specialization as well and if you get selected any corner of country can you survive can you easily uh, live there No, 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 sir. Actually, I have that that option also there uh, also. But uh, I I will not leave my country because being an Indian no, in uh, to serve my country is my any part of country itself. Will you be able to survive yourself in country itself? Yes, any... sir. Yes, sir. I can survive anywhere. Yes, sir. Because I'm adaptive to the nature. I'm uh, I'm very adaptive person. So okay, I will not. Okay, then one personal question from you. 
Suppose you get married. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And your in-laws, you are unmarried right now, right? Yes, 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 sir. And your in-laws won't allow you to go for a job. Then what do you do? <laughs> Okay, so in this condition, I will try to convince them and I will try my best uh, and I, I will convince uh, definitely because uh, I, I put my uh, efforts and I put my uh, hard work in this profession and uh, uh, because uh, I, I, I will not work, uh, I will not help in the household okay. work. You answered but I well, I don't want to disturb profession. you. Listen, <laughs> see, these are yes, quite tricky questions which are being asked during an interview sometimes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And these, these are diplomatic You should also be a little diplomatic and you should have some stylish answers. Yes. So they don't yes, get sir. denied from you and they feel as if yes, you are really a jovial person. They will feel. Yes, sir. They should feel with your answerings. Yes, sir. Okay. They can ask yes, you sir. questions in different, different manner. Like... Uh, one more question I'll tell you. One of my students would ask, suppose you don't get selected, then what you will do? So directly you can't jump on that. Yes, sir, I don't get selected. Then what I will do? No. So you should answer professional yes, answers for that. As I asked you, why don't you study okay. further? Okay. You can gain more knowledge. Mm -hmm. Like why should I select yes, only sir. you? We have not many candidates yes, waiting outside in the queue. So starting should be very different yes, sir. rather than others. So if yes, we make okay, and sir. prepare these questions prior and make them in our day-to-day yes, -day activity as if these are natural to us. We can state better answers. Yes, and sir. The Paris question one of, was yes, from one of my students. Yes, and sir. Very well, one professional yes, answer. Yes, in particular, if you give this, you can put a better impression. But Payal, really, yes, sir. you answered very well. Yes, sir. You did very well. Thank you, sir. This mock. I really appreciate Thank you, sir. Okay? Although there is yes, net, no end of development, you know very well. No end. Yes, you yes, sir. You develop as much. Yes, sir. But really, Guru yes, Gram girl has really performed well. I appreciate your concern. Thank you, sir. Yes, you answered Thank very you, well. All the answers. You tried your best. Yes. One thing is this. Yes, sir. And they also yes, want loyalty more. Yes, An yes, ounce sir. of loyalty is worth more than a pound of cleverness.